Hey guys, welcome back to my nail journal. So as you can tell by the title, of course I'm doing a 10 by Tina review, but there's a story behind this review and why she contacted me. Um, so about a year ago, well last year in March, I posted on my stories about this like where I couldn't sleep and so um, I was on YouTube and YouTube suggestions pulled up this video and it was this unique, like the MLM company unique makeup. It was this ambassador for them that was doing a Facebook Live and it was re-uploaded to YouTube. And the Facebook Live, she was just acting so crazy. She was really aggressive. She's put on her makeup like so hard and then she kept yelling at everybody. And she was just this like, Crystal, get off of my life. Allison, if you really want to know, you can message me. Crystal, get off of my life. So I know you're probably asking, what does this story have to do with um, 10 by Tina reaching out to you? So let me show you a couple clips of my Instagram story where I explain this crazy lady. I'm trying not to make fun of her because like, look, I don't really personally care for MLMs. I don't trust their shit. I know like all their little secrets of like they're taking advantage of people and putting them in debt. But if that's what you want to do, boo boo, do your thing. But a little word of advice, like I highly doubt you're going to be able to sell a lot of products when like your whole life is just like having a fucking meltdown, <laughs> like get off the live and take a damn break. And then let me show you a couple clips of said crazy lady. Really, Rebecca? Or excuse me, who was that? Yeah, Rebecca. Really? Uh, CMC, <laughs> I'm saving this. <laughs> gotcha, girl. Crystal, if you're a blue status, that's okay. I may not be a blue, but I'm going all the way to black. Bye, Felicia. So when Tina reached out to me, she was like, do you want to review some Canadian dip liquids, but you have to act like our favorite unique ambassador? And I was confused for a split second. That's why I was like, what do you mean? And then she just like sent me the link to the video of this crazy lady. And that's when it clicked in my brain and I remembered. And the rest of our conversation is just hilarious. I asked her for permission if we, if I could share screenshots of our conversation so you guys can get like full context of what we're talking about. Cause it was just so random. Cause I posted that about this lady over like a year over a year ago or about a year ago well it was March of 2020 and so for her to just remember that and she was saying like sometimes I watch it for giggles it was just so funny to me so I wanted to share that with you um which is also why later in the video you'll see a note that she ended up um writing to me with her package and who was talking about I tried to send root beer because throughout this like live this girl was like drinking root beer and slamming it down on the table. Here's a little clip of it right here. Yes, I'm drinking a root beer, Tony. They it's just I don't know. I hope that this girl wasn't having a bad day and when you look up this girl, there's I don't know much about her, this unique ambassador lady, but there was like another video of her husband hitting her kid with like a box or something. I'm not going to show that here because I don't know the full context or what's happening. You don't see it directly. It's like in the background. But so all I know is that whatever was going on with her that day during this like unique live was crazy. It was hilarious. Um, and it was just so random. This video ended up being way longer than I thought it would just because the story is hilarious. And plus doing this review, obviously I've never tried Tina's products before. And so I wanted to just be like super thorough and try to tell you guys my thoughts and opinions and everything. So I'll end up probably making a second video of me actually applying the colors that she sent to me, some of them anyway. And yeah, so keep, keep an eye out for that video to come. All right, you guys, I got this big old box that came from 10 by Tina. Tina, that's always a tongue twister for me. You like my masking tape job? Let's open this and see what we got. I'm excited. Ooh. There's so much in here. Okay. So we have a little business card. 10 by Tina handcrafted dip powder. And she is based in Canada. Which is awesome because there's not many dip powder companies that are in Canada. Thanks so much for doing this. I searched for a root beer to send, but couldn't find the 
What's it say? Couldn't find the right... I don't know what that says. That's hilarious. Okay, so... I have to make sure I mention that. I, I, I filmed the intro to this after this, so I have to make sure I mention that. So, okay. I think these are her liquids, because I remember she wanted me to try her liquids. Really nicely packaged. Okay, so here is the base. And she does have it numbered as number one. Here's what would be the activator. She has it as number two. Oh, that leaked a little bit. Uh-oh. This is the top coat, number three. This leaked in the bottle... Or I mean in the box, but the top coat itself looks fine. So I'll probably just have to clean the bottle up. But that did leak a little bit. I don't know how much of it leaked though. It still looks pretty full. And like I said, the liquid in the bottle seems totally fine. Doesn't seem like it got goopy at all or anything, so and it wasn't glued shut, so that's good. Just a little bit of a leakage. And then she sent a bunch of dip powder to try. And I can't wait to see all this. And all the fun noodles. I like the black noodles. The matte black noodles. Her jars are really nice. So we have brand on top. 10 by Tina handcrafted dip powder. And the name on the bottom. Mariposa. which is a gorgeous glitter. This is going to be like a shifting glitter. And then we have My Soul, which I think is a really popular from one from her. And I believe this is the one that has real copper pieces in it. She did a Manny of this. I'll put a picture right here. But her Manny was so cool. I love the way it looked both shiny and matte. It's like you just can, it would be an easy Manny too because it's just all one color. And you don't really need an accent now. You just put that matte top coat on. And this is just amazing. So I'm super excited for this one. Then we have Cuddle Up. So this is her... I, I, have, to, I have to literally stop the video to look up how to pronounce it. Because I forget every time. Hold on. Okay, I figured it out. But this is her Hugo collection. And this is a big collection from her. I feel like everybody freaks out over this. I'm going to put a picture of her swatches up right here. Because you're not going to be able to tell just from the jar how gorgeous the tone of these colors are. Just, they're all so perfect, matte or shiny too. So this is cuddled up. Again, I'm just gonna leave that picture up because you're not gonna be able to tell in the jar how, these are, how pretty these are. And then this one is content. I'm so excited for these. Then we have Comfort. And then a Cozy Place. And then toasted mellow, or mallow, toasted mellow like marshmallow. <laughs> so I'm going to do, so I'm going to swatch all of these. And I'm going to use her liquids to swatch these so I can get a feel for her liquids before I use them on my actual nails. It's kind of like a pre-little test thing. So we'll be right back. I'm just going to show swatching the first layer. And then I'll finish up with the activator and filing. And we'll come back and we'll try to do the top coat. I'm not no, I'm not really used to doing dip top coat. So so if it messes up, most likely it's my fault because I'm I've gotten so used to gel. But we're gonna use her top coat because I really want to see how it looks. And then I'll kind of give you my thoughts a little bit on her um, liquids, but I'll give you more of my thoughts once I actually use them on my nails because I feel like that's really testing them. It's a lot better than just on swatches. So be right back. Okay, there's a lot going on here, but I promise it's slightly organized. So I'm going to start dumping out the powders. 
and keeping them in order so I don't mix anything up. Okay, I'm probably going to just show you me swatching three of them, the first layer of it, and then I might pop in here and there because there's so many that you're not going to be able to really see anything anyway. But so yeah, I am going to use her liquids to swatch them, so her base. Let me see if it has any type of smell. It's really not bad. It's not too strong or anything. It has a stopper in it. Okay, so let's see. First one is comfort. Okay, so first swatch of comfort. It's not too bad. I might have put a little too much base on there. Might be why it kind of clumped up some. The smell's not really strong. And I like the brush. It fans out nicely. Let's do the cozy place here. There's the first one of cozy place. I bled the brush a little bit that time and I don't think, I think it went on a lot smoother bleeding the brush some. Okay, so now here's the first one of content. First one of content. This is going to be like a perfect gray. And then here's the last one I'll do on camera. I'll kind of pop in here and there to show you, tell you guys what I'm thinking. But this is Toasted Mellow. Or at least that's how I'm going to pronounce it. Okay, well ignore the parts that look like hair. I think that's fraying from where I filed the uh, swatch stick, but that'll all go away when I go to file the colors. My lighting seems to be kind of, th the tones of these are so nice in person, and I feel like my lighting is really shitty, which is why I wanted to include the picture of her swatches. I'll pop it up again here, because, I don't know, I, I, my lighting sometimes works with me and sometimes it doesn't, but these all have really good tones to them. And so far, her solid powders are really nice and soft. Um... And I will pop in when I get to, like, the glitters and the metal one, my soul, to kind of tell you what I think about the consistency of those powders. So here's that chunky glitter Mariposa, I think that's how you pronounce it. That laid down pretty flat. I could tell you right now, I, I noticed when I poured the glitter out, this color out of the jar, that this has a good consistency, or a good balance, I guess I would say, between glitter and acrylic. Because sometimes if you don't have enough acrylic and it's all glitter, that can be really hard to work with. You need a good balance between the two. And this one seems to really have that. That also helps with the glitters lay kind of flat. And that's really nice coverage for that being the first layer. So I'm going to move on to my sole. Trying to keep these nice and neat and in order and not risk spilling them. So because this has real metal in it and metal is heavy, this can kind of sink down. So I would, before dipping each time, give it just a little shake to kind of bring those to the top. But that is so cool looking, even just like sitting there. Okay, there's the first layer of my soul. That's a dark black. I feel like I put a really thin layer of liquid on there, but that is a dark black. And those metal pieces are so cool looking, you can't really tell. I feel like once I have top coat on, you'll be able to really see them. So let me finish these up. And then we'll be, we'll be back after I file and shape them. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys my sole on the second dip. See how much darker that is and how much more coverage. I think I got more used to the liquids and the brush. It's, it's not that they're funky or anything. It's just the consistency is a little different than what I've been using. Not in a bad way. Just saying. And the brush is a little different. It's just a different feel altogether because I've never touched these bottles or anything like that. So I think I got used to it after that second dip, and they're looking a lot better. You can see how cool that looks, even with it out of focus. Um, also, 
this did not stain the brush. I didn't notice any type of pigment staining at all with this, and that's pretty black. I mean, that is like pitch black. And then the same thing with Mariposa. I think I'm, I'm going to do three swatches of, three total dips of my soul, but I'm only going to do two of Mariposa because that has great coverage. And again, it laid super flat, you guys. I, I didn't even have to pat this down. And usually chunky glitters, I got to take like a little Ziploc bag and pat that down. I mean, I have it out and ready just in case. Didn't even have to do that. It laid so flat. Second dip, I feel like that's a great coverage. These all look better. I don't think you're going to be able to really even tell so I can get better like close-ups of them. But I just love the tones of the Hugo collection. It's just every one of them is so pretty and so different. So, yeah, I'm going to continue. I'm going to uh, do three swatches on all the solids and my soul. I'm only going to do two of the Chunky Glitter Mariposa. Um, and then I'll clear cap. I'm going to use her activator. And then I'm going to um, file buff and all that fun stuff. And then we'll get back and I'll try to use her top coat. I'm Again, like I said earlier, I am not used to dip top coat. So... If I get frustrated, I'm not going to lie, I will switch to gel top coat, but <laughs> I'm going to try it out, though, because that's the whole point I'm reviewing her liquid. So, so far, so good. Um, the brush to the base, I like how it fans out. It's really nice, and I really like clear. I do not like the black brushes because I like it. The clear ones make it just easier to see where you're laying the liquid down, if that makes sense. So, so far, I really like this. The handle's pretty nice. The bottle's nice and heavy, and that so far, the bottle's really good. So, again... I'll be back in a little bit. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? I'm just kidding. I won't do that to you. <laughs> so let's try her top coat now that I got them all filed. So I believe, again, you guys, I never use dip powder top coat, okay? So don't make fun of me. But I believe you put a second coat of activator all over, right? You kind of like saturate it. Okay. And then I, I believe you wait two minutes. Let me smell the activator too while we're here. A little bit of acetone smell or nail polish smell maybe. Acetone smell. Not too bad though. Not too bad. The, <coughs> let me see. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to time it for two minutes. But the, um, the dip base. So when I first smelled it, it didn't bother me as bad, but I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. Because that's the whole point of doing these reviews. As I used it more, the more I noticed the smell, it got kind of strong. Now, it didn't, like, give me a headache. It did make my eyes water a little bit. I need you to keep in mind that everybody's senses work different with everything. What bothers me might not bother you and vice versa. So, it's not awful. Like, I have had way worse. In fact, whose liquid was it that freaking, like, burned my nose? Was it double-dipped nasty-ass liquids? <laughs> That shit hurt. Like, I, I remember, like, you guys, I'm not sensitive. Sorry, I scooped my chair up. I'm not very sensitive to dip liquids at all. Like, I never experienced, like, the dip flu or anything like that. Um, I rarely do they give me a headache. And I'm not super uh, cautious either, as I should be. Like, I'm not in a very well-ventilated room because I'm a rebel and I love damaging, um, damaging my already asthmatic lungs with dust and fumes. So don't do that, please. Um, so anyway, let me see. We're almost at two minutes. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm not super sensitive. The double dipped ones though, that was the first liquids I ever came across that like gave me a severe headache using it. And I only swatched like what, four of those colors. I don't remember. I threw that shit in the trash. Anyway, so these are not nearly that bad. I'm just saying that the more I used it, 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 it was more noticeable. It didn't like I didn't like immediately say, fuck this, I'm going to put this up. It's not that bad. Um, but the consistency of it is really good. I really love the brush. The brush is nice. It fans out really good. I like that she has um, stoppers in them so that way you're not pulling out, pulling out too much liquid at once. Okay, so I believe, God, I'm probably going to fuck this up on the first go. Uh, but I believe once you wait two minutes, you do the first layer of top coat. I believe you're supposed to do two layers, so let's do... The first layer and I think you're supposed to wipe this brush off so you don't contaminate it so let me um I should have grabbed paper towel beforehand Oof. again you guys I'm not used to it I've just I just once I 
Once I realized you were allowed to use um, gel top coat with dip powder, I just kind of stuck to that. It's just like my thing. So yeah, wipe that off, dip that back in there. And then I believe you wait one minute. And then you add a second coat and then you wait two minutes for it to fully dry. I don't remember. The rest I'm going to do in gel though. So anyway, all of these colors were really easy to file. And that is due to the liquids not being too thick. And also the powders are nice and smooth. So the application went on pretty smooth, which is why it was really easy and quick to file. Like it took me, what, three minutes to file all of these swatches. It really was quick. Um, the chunky glitter, love it. I can't wait to see a top coat on it. It went on so smooth though, and it flattened out on its own so well. The My Soul that has the real metal in it, one cool thing about that being metal and not glitter is that when you're filing, you don't have to worry about burning through your glitter and basically filing the color off the glitter and then it kind of turns silver and dull and ugly. So that's really awesome with this because it's, well, because it's not glitter, it's metal. But yeah, so anyway, I, I, this is one of those situations where I'm not going to know what to do first, like to put on my nails. I'm not going to understand like which color, or be able to choose which colors. Anyway, let me put the second second coat of top coat on here and then like I said I, th I think I think you wait two minutes for that to dry I don't know sometimes I've had it where you've had to wait five minutes before I haven't used dip top coat in so long so far that looks really shiny though it actually looks really nice in the light we'll be able to tell if I fucked it up really soon because it'll probably get patchy Hopefully not, though, but so far, the way it's looking, it looks really shiny. So, the packaging was really nice. She said that, that she um, was going to package this particular package in a similar way that she does her sub boxes, sub bags. I forget what she calls them now. My bad. Yeah, but if you're interested in her sub bag, sub box, we're just going to call it a sub bag. Uh, it'll be packaged in a similar way as what mine was. Um, my only problem is that this did leak. It didn't leak a ton. Um, the bottle didn't glue shut on itself. Awesome. So that leak doesn't bother me near as much. If this had glued shut, uh, like I know I got this for free in order to review it. You guys, she sent this to, to me for free to review it. So I understand I didn't pay for it, but I need to think of it, um, the same way I would if I had paid for this. So if I had paid for this and it done this, I wouldn't have been mad simply because it didn't glue shut and a lot of it didn't leak out if i had paid for this and this leaked and then glued the bottle shut that would have pissed me off a little bit so just my one critique um i don't know you know this this came all the way from canada to indiana i don't know if like ups was the issue um or not ups but usps or whatever i'm just saying that there was a little leak you guys saw it i opened it on camera I, that, that's all I'm going to say about that. It's not a bad leak, though. There's been worse. It's so I love that she includes her card. Some people like to take uh, Nelfies with the business card that they're wearing. So that's really cute. I like how it's really simple, too. just has her website on the back and her name in the front. And I do like the jars. These jars are really nice. They're nice looking and they're nice quality. And again, simple packaging. I like simple packaging because when it comes to packaging for me, you're either going to spend the money to go way out and make it like crazy or you're going to keep it simple. Like that's my thing. I, I either want it all the way or simple. I don't like in between. So I really like that these are nice and simple. And I do like that the name is on the bottom. I do normally prefer it on the top, but either way, I'd rather the name either be on the top or the bottom of the jar and not on the side because it's easier to store it and I can find the name if it's on the top or the bottom. Not as easy to store on the side. They roll around a lot easier, so on and so forth. Um, the colors we know are gorgeous. Like I remember when I first saw her swatch picks to the Huga collection, I flipped my lid because they're not very common colors or tones of colors, which is crazy to me because you'd think they would be because they're, very, they're just really pretty neutral tones. Um, and I have never heard of anybody in the dip community or just the nail community in general use real metal in their in their colors like never heard of that in my life so she she told me a little bit about it i'm gonna um 
include the little screenshot part where she told me she has like a family member that works with metals and that's how she got like all her information to do this and stuff. Uh, so it's just, it's fascinating to me to know that that's real metal in there. Let me see. God, I'm scared to touch it. But so far it's not dry and patchy on me and that's coming from somebody that uh, never, okay, you guys, my cat hair is on everything. I, I've been noticing hairs and trying to figure out where they're coming from and now I've realized that my cats have laid on this like table runner that I've chose to use as my backdrop today. So yeah, cat hair everywhere. Yeah, I'm scared to touch it to see if it's dry yet, but you can see it's nice and shiny. In fact, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to start gel top coating the other colors and then I'll show them side by side. Dang on it, I'm pretty sure that's a cat hair stuck in the powder too. Freaking cat hair everywhere. Okay, let me get the gel polish or the gel top coat ready and we'll actually compare the shininess because gel top coat is really hard to mimic. Gel top coat, I mean, of course there's some gel top coats that aren't as shiny as others, but gel top coat to me has always been a lot shinier than um, dip top coat. There's only a few brands that I can say is comparable and that's J&I's dip top coat. Um, and I remember Manny Moguls did really good. So... So far, this one's looking awesome, too. We're going to compare it here in just a second. I'm in the middle of gel, topping, gel top coating. Wow, the other colors. But this one is dry. This is the dip top coat. Really nice and shiny. And as I'm top coating the others, I'm realizing that cat hair has gotten into almost every color. So just ignore that. When I do the swatch pictures, I'll end up editing um, the cat hair out. Uh, but yeah, I've I, cat hair everywhere, you guys. So let me see, this one just cured. So here is Cozy Place with a gel top coat. And then the color Comfort has the dip top coat on it. So as you can see, that's pretty close. The gel top coat still just a bit shinier and a little bit smoother, but that's typical with dip powder top coat to me. That's just how they are to me they're not quite as glass like as gel top coat but for a dip top coat and this is this is coming from somebody that's super critical with dip top coats this is a good one i really like this one that is really shiny and it was actually had no issues out of it which again coming from somebody that rarely uses um dip top coat from that not to mess up on me on my first time trying that that's a good thing so here is content which is a gorgeous gray uh, cozy place was a darker gray and then here is toasted mellow which this has a bit of a pink tone to it again my lighting is really screwed I'm going to try and get these top coated um, that one is the one with the hair in it god that pisses me off but I'm going to try and get these top coated before oh touching stuff before the sun goes down so I can um, take the swatches outside and the lighting that I would usually uh, take my Nelfies under um, so that hopefully I'll be able to catch the tone that way if that makes sense. Wow, when you put the top coat on my soul, those metal pieces just come to life. I mean, and it looked like fire at first. I think the last dip I put on this, I didn't move enough of the metals to the top. So like that last dip kind of covered a lot. Still super pretty, but that's where I say just make sure before every dip, you really move those metal pieces to the top and lay your finger down in the area where it has the most if you're wanting like a lot of pieces like especially you don't have to worry about it so much on the first and second dip really but that last dip is where you need to pay attention if you're wanting a lot of those pieces to show up and I think that's where I messed up I wasn't really paying that much attention and that last dip um, I didn't shake the metal pieces up and so a lot of the black kind of covered some you can still see on they're still there but I would have I would have wished that I had paid attention and had put more at the top. So yeah, I'm gonna let these cure, and then I'm gonna um, try to take them outside. Yeah, and show you guys. Okay, so we're outside, and as you can see, I have used a very fancy silver platter to help me carry these out here. And I just brought out the Huka collection for now. I have to go back and get the other two. 
I could have put them on here, but I'm stupid. So yeah, let me get these and I'll show you what they look like out in the natural lighting. Okay, ignore the cat hair. <laughs> Hopefully you can see though, God, the cat hair is everywhere. Hopefully you can see though that these tones are gorgeous. So the one all the way to the left is the one with her dip top coat on. And as you can see, it is shiny. Again, not as clear as the gel, but it's pretty darn shiny. And these tones are gorgeous. And again, these colors are going to look amazing, matte or shiny. I'm so mad about the cat hairs. Oh my gosh. But they went on so smooth, and this collection is so pretty, and you absolutely need every one of them. These colors are going to go well with any glitter, any foil, anything that you want to do. And again, matte or shiny, they're beautiful. Let me go back and get the glitter colors so we can see those in natural lighting. But yeah, that top coat, really good. It dried really fast. The activator dried really fast, too. Um, and no issues. It didn't do anything weird to me. And again, first time trying it, not used to dip powder or uh, the dip top coats, so I really like it. Okay, so then we have Mariposa, which I've probably been pronouncing incorrectly this entire video. And My Soul, stunning. Again, you can you see what I'm talking about where the black kind of covered a lot of that coppery metal? That's where I'm saying on that last dip, um, especially the last dip. Make sure you shake a lot of that metal to the top, and that's if you want like a lot of pieces on the top. So I'll have to keep that in mind when I do my mani. Just make sure that I lay it um, where a lot of it is shaking to the top. But anyway, these are stunning. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can hear the sirens, but yes, I live in the ghetto. <laughs> yeah, you can kind of see them popping up. That is gorgeous. So pretty. <laughs> There we go, as you can see, just making sure that those metals in my soul is really shook up to the top. And it, it, it looks a lot better, in my opinion, to have more of those metal pieces. So let's talk a little bit more about this company. Number one, it's based in Canada. She's from Canada. And that's a really important fact to talk about because there's not very many Canadian dip powder brands. So everybody that is in Canada and is worried about like international shipping and stuff, definitely check out 10 by Tina. She has a lot of beautiful colors, not just what she sent me. I, I'll send, I'll post um, the link to her website, her Instagram, her Facebook, and all that in the description box below so you guys can have a good look at her yourself. Um, but her liquids ended up being really good as well. So the same thing there, if you're in Canada and you're having a hard time finding good dip liquids, I definitely recommend these ones. I love the uniqueness and the innovative part of like these dip powders that have real metal pieces in them. That's something I've never heard of and that's really intriguing to me. So for example, in my soul, it has real copper pieces in it and she has another color called Past the Bubbles, which has real golden brass in it and it's just absolutely beautiful. And like I said earlier when I was talking about my soul, um, because it's real metal pieces and not just glitter, you don't have to worry about filing into that and burning the color off and essentially turning it like a dull silver. So this is going to be awesome for beginners too. And the powder's laid so smooth, plus her liquids were nice. So for beginners, this is a fun, this, these are fun colors and I really think you need to check them out. For all the United States people that might want to order from her and are kind of worried because of like the money conversion, just Google um, can, like US dollars to Canadian dollars. It's, it's actually a cheaper um, for us than what they're paying in Canada. So the prices is like really no different than what you're paying any other place in the United States. So if you're kind of like not really sure if you want to buy from her because of the money conversion, don't let that bother you because it's really not much of a difference than any other brand com any other dip powder company in the United States. And then the same thing with shipping. If the other reason you might hesitate to buy from her because you're worried about the shipping wasn't bad at all. I think it only took like maybe a few days. I can't remember exactly for her to get it to me. Um, and that's with COVID and USPS and all them being backed up right now. So it's essentially the same time shipping wise as any place that you would buy from the United States. There's the review of 10 by Tina. I highly, re highly recommend checking her brand out. She was really sweet. She's hilarious. All the like conversations that I've had with her about this. She's just been really cool about it and patient with me and answering any questions I had because I want to make sure that but I'm letting you guys know all the good information and stuff. And she's just, again, she's funny to me. 
Don't forget that she also has her own YouTube channel. It's a really good channel. I've watched a few of her videos. I didn't even know she had a channel. But watching some of her videos, she explains things, she explains things really well. So I highly recommend checking out her channel. I'll have that linked below. As well as, like I said, her Facebook, her Instagram, and the link to the website. Say so thank you guys again for watching. And again, keep an eye out for that second video where I'll be doing a mani with the colors that she sent me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!